very early. It's Doctor Who himself. He is called David Tennant. Wow, look, here he is. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. David Tennant, look at him. Wow, it's the Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, hello. Hello, Dave. How are you? I'm very nice good to meet you. Me. Hi, David He's Scottish in real life. Yeah. It is, not it's a joke. True. Do you ever, do you ever get halfway through a scene and go, sorry, I'm gonna have to stop, that was a bit too Scottish? Eh, uh, no. Okay. I don't like to do, really. Alright, fair enough then. Thanks for coming in. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> David Tennant, Doctor Who. What's my claim to fame with you? Uh, well, I, I, I met you at Glastonbury. Yeah. Just after it had been announced that I was doing Doctor Who. That's right. Literally days after it had been announced. Mm. And, um, and you... You said knock knock. I did. Which was, I think, the first person Hooray. to have done that. I'm very proud of that fact. Yeah. Please don't leave Doctor Who yet because I'm, I use this story about you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when I see you on other TV shows and they go, knock knock, I think, I've already, I've already done that yeah, joke, done my that. friend. I've already on, done it. On. Yeah. Does that happen in every interview you do now? Do you know, it's surprisingly rarely. Really? Mm. It's not too bad. All right. Oh, oh, sorry, his headphones are... They're all sort of weirdly echoing. I'm hearing myself three there's times. A, there's an ever so slight delay. There's, a, there's another pair here. Try try that. Hang on. We pressed a button that might... No, that's still really? the same thing. Yeah. Try the other ones again. Try the other ones again. Try again. God, there's, hey. a, there's a very ever so slight digital delay. Cutting edge here at Radio mm. 1, isn't it? So you shouldn't notice it when I speak. No, but... you're fine. And then oh, it's speak... not so bad now. Still there a little bit, but it's not so bad. It's bearable right. now, yeah. How about this, ready? That's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, it's radio. Yeah. You're not used to, you know, the dizzy heights of big time TV. I, I love I love coming on the radio, though. Really? I love mm. coming on the radio one. It feels very cool. It is I very I feel cool. like I'm getting, you know, I feel like I'm being the cool kid that I never was at school. Oh, uh, no, I'm sure you were. I really wasn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but look at you now. You're Doctor Who. Thanks very much. Yeah. <sighs> you're a travelling time lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... So I watched the first show. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. And I and I really like your new assistant. Yeah, she's fantastic, isn't she? But and I didn't think I would. No, because well, in the adverts for the show, she looks quite mean and, and moody. Right. Um, but actually, from the moment she appears on the screen, she's actually very likable. Lights up the screen, I think. I think you're right. But you don't like change. That's your. I don't problem. like change. No, you're right. Fundamentally, mm. I was a big Rose Tyler fan. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, um, I'm all right. Yeah. I can live with this now. I think, that, well, that's what the show does, though, isn't it? It's like, when the Doctor changes as well, you kind of think, oh, no, I'm not going to like this. But mm. hopefully, <laughs> you get over that quite quickly. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I've bought into it already. And she's a Doctor, too. Is she? Well, she's a junior Doctor. She's well, not quite qualified yet. No. Sorry, you know, you're like you're facts, not, right? you're, the, the Doctor's not a Doctor, either. He's a Doctor of many things. Mm. What's she a Doctor of? She's trained <clears throat> of medicine. A right medicine Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like Doctor Fox. It's right. not like her first name, yeah. Doctor <laughs> Hook. Um, and the and so she's Doctor Martha Jones. Yeah. And she's played by Freema. Freema Adjiman. And you get on well. Are you friends? Oh yeah, she's great. Yeah. yeah. You'd love her. Has she been? She's not been on this. Has no, she? she hasn't no. been on the show. No. No. I think she may be coming on Joe this week actually. Sarah oh. Cox on Friday. Oh, Sarah Cox. Sarah Sorry. Standing Filling in for Joe. Oh, that's, oh that's, what it is. that's what it is. That's what it is. So you two right. are friends? Oh yeah. Swap numbers. Oh, yeah. Get on really well outside the show. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's nice. Thank God for that. She's left a message for you. Well, hi, David. Oh. I was actually going to text you randomly about five times this week of various things that had gone on, and I just thought I'd leave you to have a little bit of peace and quiet <laughs> and away time from Freema. So um, I, I hope you've had a good rest and um, are looking forward to the madness. <laughs> she sounds Aww. very excited. She is. She is. But, well, but she's also quite cool. She's been very kind of... She's handled it really well, because mm. it could have been, I suppose, quite overwhelming, and she's just been very, from day one, she's just kind of got it and nailed it, really. The only worrying thing about that is she does refer to herself in the third person. What do you mean? She refers to and um, having a bit of time away from Freema, <laughs> which is <laughs> just, Now, the people who do that are always odd. Does she do that a lot, or is that just a one-off? Uh, that was a one-off. Thank God for that. I That's think okay. that was, yeah. It's the first sign of showbiz madness. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've I mean, never heard her do that If before. you kind of sat here and kind of go, Tenon doesn't like this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's not a good sign. But I, have to, I haven't seen her for a few days, so maybe it's all... Maybe oh, it's you're missing her. Yeah. Oh. You know, I... It's... Has she got a boyfriend in real life? She does. Oh. These two could get together. 
<laughs> that's that slightly mad thing that people assume because you work with someone on Absolutely. the telly, you've got yeah, to but we, you end we, up sleeping with. Because mm. we just see the show for what it is. Yeah. Well, that's good, but you know, we, we can... We, you, it's good to... Yeah, but we believe when we watch the show that you are Doctor Who. Uh-huh. I you am. the dots are flying through... Seven o'clock on Saturday night, I am. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because it always amazes me when actors go, oh, God, you know, it's just, it's not real. And you go, but, but it is real to us. Good. That, that, that's good. If yeah. you were to go out with somebody like your co-star, it must be more and more difficult to separate the fact that you're not Doctor Who an assistant in real life. Do you not know think? Because if you both look like the people... See, so now this is going too far. But you well, only if I mean? you start dressing up in your well, costume. this is it, but yeah. I just think that if you went to the supermarket as Doctor Who an assistant, I just think they would get confusing. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> but but your, girl, your girlfriend was in Doctor Who. Yeah. So I don't think she comes home from work and she goes, Hi, Doctor. Mm. So, David, sorry about <laughs> that. Oh, it's, just, it's so weird, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's quite easy, really, to separate the fact and the fiction. Mm. I promise you. You don't wear the same clothes at home. I don't. Never. No. Well, you don't want to give away all the secrets. Right, okay. Does the chef then say, do, do the doctor voice for me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you're lying in bed, does she say, talk English to me? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes! She does then. That's so a yes! You, you, absolutely you, not. You, you that play, is absolutely you not. You play Doctor Who dress up and, and... <laughs> I'm just, I was just about to say that do I don't, English I don't want me. you to believe that we've ever stayed over. Do That's the, all I was going to say. Do the Doctor voice for me, David. <laughs> Please, do the Doctor voice. Is it you asking now? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> what's your, uh, what's your first, uh, what are your first words in the new series? Uh, oh, hang on. It must be something like... Like this, do you see? Or do you see like this? Okay, well, let's have a listen. Like so. See? Nearly. Mm. Nearly. Yeah. Now, I, I actually had to rewind this twice because I couldn't hear what you said. <laughs> it doesn't because really matter, I, I though, thought you actually. said lights out. Lights out. Like so. Lights, sir? What like, do you say? Lights so. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. You see? You can go on a bit Dick Van Dyke there for some reason. <laughs> well, you know. Hello, Mary Poppins. It doesn't really, you don't really need to know what he's saying like that particular Well, moment. yeah, but then it comes clear. You know, it all well, makes beautiful sense. I don't, don't want to yeah. give anything don't away. Don't give anything away, you know. Yeah. Everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I, I just, I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Good. And, and I'm Me really, too. I think that the new stuff is great. This new series is... I know, I know I'd be expected to see this, but I've only seen the first three so far, but they are kind of bigger and better than we've done before, I think. It's quite exciting. And they're scary. Yeah. Were you scared of the first one? What, the original Doctor Who? No, the one that you... the, the, the new one. Yeah. The Saturday Night's one. Yeah. Next week. Do you know what? I'm, si I'm, si really I'm seriously, I'm sitting on the couch last night having chicken fajitas with Sophie. Mm, yeah. Which is, by the way, that's a meal. It's not like a. Yeah. I had chicken fajitas for lunch yesterday. Yeah, fajitas. And, um, <laughs> and I said at one point, I went, do you know, this, this is quite, God, is quite scary, you know. And then we got into a conversation about scary stuff. Sophie still thinks that if I talk to her, if I say something to her during television, that that, that means we can start a conversation. It doesn't. Yeah. It means I'm saying something now, shut up and don't ruin it. I know, I know, I hate uh, to when people want wound, well, oh, how, how, long is, how long is it, so Doctor? agree with you. Is it 50 minutes? 45 minutes, 45 yeah. minutes. It took me an hour to watch it yesterday, because <laughs> I kept having to rewind bits. No, yeah. but you have what you have to do. The, surely, the, this is what I do. The greatest way of implying, please be quiet. Subtitles. Is, no, well, there is that, or just to make sure that you increase that volume bar on the bottom and just make it <laughs> visible that the audio needs to increase in level because they're talking some. Right, way. right. I think that's a, a giveaway. That that implies that people might be sensitive to the fact that that's what you want to do, mm. though, and that sometimes that's not the case. It, it drives, round, drives me mad. I know what you mean. Well, we sit watching the show. I'm really into the show. And Sophie goes, do you want to watch this now? And I said, yeah, well, I've got to watch it for tomorrow, David Tennant's on the show. She goes, all right. So we sit there, and very quickly she gets hooked into it. Good. To the point, my favourite bit of watching the show yesterday, Sophie gets up to go to the kitchen, but as she gets up, she stands in front, she kind of, she's moving, clearing the plate away, and, and she stops, There's something interesting happens in the show, and she just stops and looks like that, and she can't take her eyes away from the telly, and I'm like this. Move! And she's stood between me and the TV. Oh, that's with annoying. the plates like that. Oh, that's annoying. And I'm like, move! And she goes, so sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, kind of arching the back so she can still see. <laughs> so that's praise indeed. That's good. I'm yeah. glad we caught her. <laughs>